Hi traders, welcome to Admiral Markets webinar. My name is Chris Menent and I together are going to be focusing on counter trend trading, uh, reversal trading in other words. So uh, a little bit more risky, but sometimes worth the, the risk uh, if there's a potential move that uh, might you know be worth that uh, risk. You know, sometimes price of course can be in a, in a very interesting spot where we could expect a, a sizable move in the other direction. And then those reversals seem a little bit more interesting, of course, than maybe uh, just a few pips uh, up and down. I am a very cautious reversal trader, uh, so you'll see a little bit more cautious approach for myself. I like trading with the trend uh, a bit more, but definitely in some cases things add up and I'm going to be talking about those factors which make me more confident in reversal trades. And so we'll net it uh, a little bit later. First of all, though, be aware of the special with Adam Markets. Christmas is coming a bit earlier. Uh, so check out the website at markets.com and click on uh, the, uh, the banner that explains more about this special. All right. So please do that after the webinar if you're interested in, uh, in some spread rebate there on 15 of these instruments. And second of all, uh, a risk disclaimer explaining the fact that trading for exchange and global financial markets is considered high risk. Please seek the advice of an independent financial advisor for more information on that. This webinar is for informational and educational purposes only. By continuing watching this webinar, you agree with this disclaimer and you are aware of the risk involved when trading. Please visit AdmiralMarketsGlobal.com, select your country of residence, and contact the appropriate entity to find out if this webinar is suitable for you. All right, so let's take a look. I wanted to focus on, on live charts this time around, and or I should say current price action and also historical price action rather than um, uh, a presentation because I think that uh, we can work through some, you know, easier work through some uh, practical examples rather maybe too theoretical. So let's do that. Now, there are a couple of ways how reversals can be traded. Let's start with the blank chart that might be a bit easier. Um, reversals, I think, make a sense there are two, two there are basically two or three different types of reversals i would say uh the first one is the most aggressive it's when price is really still falling or moving in the opposite direction and we're looking to trade it in, into that different side one is where price has already moved a little bit in that direction it's, it's looking for a continuation so a typical example of the first one could be trading it up in here for instance somewhere around here where clearly price is still in an upward tra 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 trajectory <laughs> and uh, or trading reversal somewhere maybe around here where price has already made a fall but we're looking for a continuation right so there are two different spots in a way uh, and maybe a third could be considered uh, anywhere around here when we get a hook back or we get a continuation breakout or something like that so the first one is a little bit more risky obviously than the second maybe or the third in a certain degree in a certain way at least depending on um, the analysis done but because we're really clearly trading against the momentum so that's the risk factor with the first part whereas the second and third there are maybe already factors that we can analyze that are showing a shift of of a upside trend maybe down to a bigger correction or a downward trend and we see factors that Price is already moving into an upward uh, movement, right? So that's why I'm talking about one as, as more risky from this point of view. Now, let's talk about trading the first kind of setup, waiting for price really to be almost at the, 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 the almost if we catch it at the right spot at the turning spot, right? So factors that are important for that is basically support or resistance, very important confluence specifically of support or resistance and the more the better we're talking about uh, daily tops and bottoms let's put a line here i'm not sure if there's anything i, I didn't want to you know prepare anything that we can choose a currency pair at random later on to do this together but one definitely is resistance on a daily chart tops and bottoms fractals um keltner 
Admiral Keltner channels, Murray math levels. Um, now, of course, using all of them could be making the chart a little bit too confusing. So we don't want to put 50 things on the chart either. That would be too much. But you get my point. If we, we want to use a, a healthy set of support or resistant tools, maybe five of them or something like that, that give a different perspective. And five goes pretty quick. I mean, we have on this, we have, we're using tops and bottoms automatically here. You can just see them. Uh, pivot points, Keltner, a fib, right? And you already have four, right? So it goes, you know, five is not that many for support and resistance. Uh, you can look at different time frames. So fibs, Keltner, pivot points, tops and bottoms, fractals, uh, round levels work very well. Uh, you know, if you're adding Ichimoku or whatever personal favorite you have, I'm sure that that only adds to the confluence too. Typically, that should be fine. So that's something. If you find a level, also if you use Elliott Wave Analysis, maybe you, you can identify a certain level that is more important and if you see confluence at that level there is a good chance especially if price is moving into that zone for the very first time that price will respond to that level of course the support resistance levels on a higher time frame have more value or stronger and then trying to see a reaction maybe on one time frame or two time frames lower uh, is, is a good combination for finding an early reversal let's call it early reversal so step one is point of confluence, strong support of resistance zone that could stop momentum from continuing into that direction, like it did here with the euro dollar. Then another important part is, from my point of view, uh, patterns. Lower time frame, we could be looking for uh, candlestick patterns, chart patterns, wave patterns time factor patterns, um, divergence patterns, of course, very important. So divergence is something that is extremely helpful on all time frames. Even if you're looking at a reversal on the daily chart, having that divergence present on any time frame is, is important. If you don't have it on any time frame, if nothing is available, then it's probably not that good of a trade a reversal trade, even if there is a strong support or resistance. Some type of divergence is, is, is you know, very, very, very useful. Um, now, in this case, with the euro dollar specifically, we didn't have divergence between the tops because the top, the price didn't break the tops. So, you know, that's not necessarily a spot where we must have it on the daily. I'm not saying that all time frames have to have it, right? Let's take a look at the four-hour chart. And here we do see it, right? We compare these tops with each other like this. And we can clearly see that the four hour chart is going into a position where uh, the current high is higher in terms of price, but the oscillator is, is having some struggle, right? Now, this particular swing is not over, so it's not a confirmed divergence, but it's something that we might anticipate already. So if you want to trade an early reversal, I think that this, you know, should be enough to to support that kind of trade idea. All right. Now, once we have that, uh, you can take a look at hourly charts and, for instance, and take a look at other patterns. Divergence patterns very important. We have it on the four-hour chart, but maybe something else is going on. Well, on the if you like wave patterns, you would see on the hourly chart that we have a clear, or maybe not clear, but in my eyes at least pretty visible five wave, right? There, or maybe more waves. But in any case, uh, it is it is getting into a situation where this could be a wave four and this could be a wave five. We don't have any particular chart patterns, right? And indeed, Flavius adds a very good comment that uh, there is divergence typically between a wave three and five, indeed. So for those that like waves, uh, that divergence indeed often between wave and three and five shouldn't occur between the three and one. Uh, otherwise, it's not a wave three. It could occur between wave and C and A, but doesn't have to. So great comment there. So yes, three and five, that could be divergence right there. And then, you know, the way to trade it, well, there are a couple of ways. One could be a pending order in theory. I don't like that personally. I don't know how 
well that works because I have never really done that uh, with early reversals at least. Um, so no clue. Uh, that would require a very good keen feeling for key levels and point of confluences to make that successful. So uh, that requires at least some experience. So be careful of that. Waiting for candlestick reactions to the zone is, is, is more cautious. And in my view, a little bit better because, okay, you maybe catch it a little bit lower here after these engulfing twins, these candlestick patterns. But, you know, it, it, at least you have more verification and confirmation of prices responding at that spot because otherwise price could have continued. I remember specifically in this spot that uh, when price was moving up that it could have reached 119.75, but it didn't, right? 120. It went to 119.60, right? So the pending order might not have even have been might not even have been reached in this case, right? So waiting for candlestick patterns, I think, is more cautious, but has the advantage that we can see that the market is really responding to those levels. So uh, engulfing twins is an early aggressive way of trading, but there are elements that we just mentioned as price is reaching on the daily chart, the Keltner, remember, it was reaching a, a round level of 120, a fib. So there are the divergence on the four hour charts, the fifth wave, the fifth wave is the fifth wave, in fact, because when we look at the hourly chart, we have here earlier, we have a third wave. So this is already the fifth, and this is the fifth of the fifth. We have a candlestick pattern. So it all adds up. And when we start to do that math, so then it's, it's starting to look more interesting for an aggressive early reversal. So I think there gotta, there gotta be a lot of things that add up to these types of entries, but sometimes yes, price does make these reversals and uh, they could be lucrative when that happens. So um, that's the early part. Uh, let's talk about the more confirmation entries. And if you have a particular currency pair or instrument in mind, let me know. And we'll take a look at that. Uh, gold, Angel's asking for gold, so we can take a look. Uh, wait, let me do this. 38 fib. I think that Angel's talking about this fib, maybe not. That would be the 50. Probably something similar to this in any case. And um, I don't think so as yet, but I could be wrong. But uh, it, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if this does look like it's finishing ABC. I wouldn't be surprised, though, if this expands into maybe another ABC and then another ABC down. So this would be my primary analysis at this moment. If you're referring to gold, um, yeah, I don't remember what I have there at this moment uh, on elite currency, but um, 38 fib, I think I should have this fib. Maybe I have this fib, I don't know. Oh, I have maybe this fib, like this. Well, that fib is not relevant for the 38.2 fib. It would be relevant for, this, for the 88.6 fib only because all the other fibs have been broken. So these are not really relevant anymore from my point of view at least. Only, only the 88.6 fib is still an active fib from this swing high, swing low. But uh, this fib is still something that could be used um, as price maybe makes a contracting triangle, which could happen. This could be A, B, C, D, E, and then it goes up, for instance. It's a 144 EMA, by the way. 144 uh, EMA close. So let's take a look at a little bit. Anyone else have a particular instrument in mind with regard to um, the second reversal type of trade I wanted to talk about? Or we could, I have a good example. Uh, but please send me one or two currencies or instruments uh, you would you know want to take a look at after this. Your odd is a great second one actually. Um, here, for instance. 
I'm not a big fan of this reverse, reversal trading. This is when I took myself. And this is when basically price had made the early reversal here. That's early reversals are here. Either one hour or four hour engulfing twins. We can still take a look at that later if we have time. Then we get the first down move, right? For those waivers, this is wave A. Then price bounces at support. And uh, you still get a rally. You know, this in itself is an interesting reversal slash with the trend reversal in a way because the trend is maybe still up. It's at support. So, you know, those are interesting uh, reversals where price is still actually going with the trend in a way. Uh, but this is a, a type two reversal trade in the sense that I still consider this with the trend because the moving averages are aligned to the upside. All right. So, um, but on a lower time frame, it would be a reversal. Uh, but on a lower time frame, not this time frame. On this time frame, the type two reversal is here. When price is really, this is a wave B, uh, when price is failing. And at this point, typically price respects fibs. So uh, we have typically divergence between these tops. And therefore, we'd like to see a bigger ABC. Uh, it typically respects. 61.8 fib, 50, 78.6 fib, like it did here. Uh, we have, what else can we see? Uh, patterns, like a three-wave pattern like this. That helps be, give us a clue that the uptrend is not uh, continuing because if the uptrend would be continuing, then we wouldn't see a three-wave pattern. That's a corrective pattern. So, or we see some triangle, or we see choppiness in the movement, slowdown of price action. These are all signals that you know price is, is more making a wave B, corrective wave B, than, um, than a trending continuation. So rising wedge chart patterns, stuff like that. Um, wave patterns, time factor patterns, eventually price will make a high and fail to break that high. Here we see it. We see two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight candles here, not breaking this high. That's already indicating some indecision as well. So I think I took the trade somewhere around here, um, maybe on this candle, I think, as it broke through the counter trend trend line. So all of these factors were played a role. We had a lower high already. And then price broke below the support trend line. And this is where I thought the wave C, the start of wave C or continuation of the wave C was, was pretty likely. Even though I'm not a big reversal trader, that's one I liked and traded myself. And uh, price is still moving lower. So that is type two. Type three is really where price continues further than expected. So for instance, uh, we get to a situation where price falls. It completes kind of the minimum wave ABC that I have in mind at least, which is at the previous bottom. Uh, price bounces, but then it still shows weakness signs and it shows that there could be a breakout after that. So this is one that Nana traded uh, with uh, Elite Currency yesterday, I think it was, where he grabbed... Uh, 80 pips, and I think the total trade uh, went 400 pips. So if I remember the numbers correctly. And that was based also on this euro odd uh, as a continuation, in fact, where you get the, kind of the minimum correction, but price still expands, uh, and it's it really going into maybe a new trend or, or reverses into a, uh, a larger uh, downside. So when, when we get the... Reversal one type of trade, right? We're, we're aiming really for a wave A or wave one from a wave point of view, right? If we get uh, the type two, we're trying to catch that third part, which could be a wave C or, or, or three. But if it's a wave three, sometimes you get a, a, a continuation, a, a total reversal, right? Until, until price is here, it's a simple ABC. And who knows, price could continue with the uptrend. It's, it's, it's a reversal within the trend. But if it then breaks through these support levels like this, so, you know, a different dimension could take place, a different kind of um, dynamic could, could kick into the market and price could really reverse into a, a different trend direction totally. And that's what Nanit was able to catch uh, yesterday was that, that followed through. So from my perspective, there are kind of three moments. One is the, 
as I said, the, the, the beginning here, two here, and three is where the correction really extends into a different trend direction or, or at least a, a very large correction at, at the minimum. These indicators are, um, it's, it's awesome oscillator, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, is in, on the bottom, two indicators, ECS MACD, that's from Elite Currency, that's a proprietary indicator from uh, Nenet and uh, myself. And then we have moving averages, 21 EMA and 144 EMA. Uh, this is something I can send to you if you like. It's, uh, it has a color-coded angle, which is pretty useful for quickly identifying what direction price is heading into so you don't have to really squeeze your eyes too much. So that one I can, I can send if you're interested. And the uh, ECS fractal indicator uh, is, is the, the diamonds here in the circles. Uh, that too, unfortunately, a proprietary indicator there, but uh, I can send you the, uh, the moving averages, no problem. Okay. And the Asimov's clear you can find by going to insert indicators and Bill Williams. Um, with regard to, if we take a look at this chart with Admiral Markets tools like Admiral Markets pivot points and the counter channels, right? You can see the same story in a sense that price is bouncing off the top then bouncing off the bottom it kind of fails to reach it, it kind of, oh yeah well it does touch it there so bouncing off the top again and here then breaks below not only the pivot points but also keltner as you can see right so it's interesting how the keltners in give a neat representation of how how this motion goes right where we get the target of a the turning spot for b down for c that extends further as it breaks below the keltner right so also very neat in uh in its um in its function so any any particular pair you want to take a look at otherwise i think then it is anxiously awaiting to uh to provide his part and his ideas about reversal trades. You know, this is from a, from a wave perspective, from a wave pattern point of view, this is how I view reversals basically, right? So as you can imagine, maybe I, I have that wave mindset, that wave kind of bias and view on charts. So that's how I also try to spot and trade um, reversals. All right, so that uh, you can see under your dollar and your odd. So I'm going to check if uh, if Nenad is maybe uh, at uh, with us at the moment. Nenad, are you there by any chance? Yes, Chris, I'm there. Uh, I was uh, listening to what you had to say. Yeah, excellent. <clears throat> I Great. can take I'm over now. Yeah. <clears throat> Sorry, guys, my uh, throat is a little bit sore, so <laughs> I'm trying to uh, keep it. So yeah, I will I will actually uh, show you how I uh, tackle uh, counter trend trading, and I will give you some tips. I will not be particularly talking about, of course, Camarilla MACD because Camarilla MACD, as you know, that is uh, the method that uh, we develop at Elite Currency, and we do not uh, actually we it's it's a paid method, so it, it it takes a little bit different approach, but the general structure. Uh, this is how I do it, and this is uh, the general idea how to trade counter trend. Uh, Camarilla MACD counter trend module is the module that I use personally for uh, counter trend, and I will give you some hints how you can incorporate your own uh, this this idea what I will be sharing with you into your own trading. So this should be useful to you, but. As you know, guys, we every everyone of us are actually trading uh, different systems, and uh, you should be actually using, uh, I, in my opinion, this what I have to say also in your own system because this works. And a lot of times when I take trades, guys, uh, this principle that I developed with uh, practical naked trading, with price section trading school, and also with my Camarilla MACD works. And this is I will show you how you can do it and of course uh, you will also you can ask for the indicator uh, as chris said uh, we have a, it's called elite currency uh, divergence indicator so you can get it for free okay 
uh, and uh, just send us an email and you can get it for free. So uh, what is counter trend? Why trade it? Tools for counter trend trading. And I will show you how to divergence trade because in my trading, divergence is the most uh, the most important part of founding uh or finding actually a uh, counter trend trades but not just divergence also the atr okay so uh here uh this is what uh, i will uh, show you now uh counter trend concept first of all guys counter trend starts as a retracement you need to you need to distinguish between trend and retracement in a trend and every counter trend move will start as a retracement so what does it mean to you guys now i will actually show you and i think this should be pretty much clear so let's say for example that you have a trend trade so follow me on this please because as i say uh, you could use this concept in your own trading methods okay so let's say that you have a trend trade trend trade means buying when price is in uptrend you're buying pullbacks like this right so every time price makes a pullback you want to go in a trend direction so this is trend right i'm just using a, a uptrend example same is similar is for downtrend when price is dropping you wait for a retracement then sell you wait for a retracement then sell and so on counter trend trading guys is exactly what i did yesterday on my wednesday live trading session did you do you remember guys when we talked about selling euro at 1150 i said during the live trading session you can try to sell it and i said today but protect your profits that was basically when the price went to 177 it made a move and it was a bullish move but counter trend move was exactly at 8050 where we waited for it so guys we made a counter trend move counter trend was opposed to a trend move that happened during the intraday session and today we actually we didn't trade a lot the only thing that i have currently is australian dollar yen clear trend trade but counter trend trade is only when price is not moving much and that is the end of day trading because when you have a normal trend sooner or later there will be a retracement but it doesn't mean that this is a reversal because a retracement can turn into the bounce but if it breaks all important trend lines then we can talk about reversal and the beginning of a of let's say downtrend so for counter trend first you have a trend pattern then you have retracement and then you have reversal a retracement is what we are actually trading when trading counter trend because every trend move has a retracement you need to remember that and if you go counter trend you are trading the retracement guys now think about this what i say it doesn't necessarily mean that it will be a reversal reversal is a complete change of a trend while retracement is just a pull back in the trend okay think about this this is important this is the first step you want to make when trading counter trend so first you need to spot a trend then a retracement is counter trend and only if the most important trend line is broken we can talk about reversal so actually guys you are trading the retracement whenever you go with counter trend you are trading retracement this is trend high low high, lower high lower low lower high lower low so this is downtrend guys okay and at this spot let's say when this bottom has been broken and this was like some sort of rounded bottom this was a start of new trend 
So every move here was a trend move. This was retracement. This was retracement. This was retracement. This was retracement. And here we have a reversal. So if you wanted to make on this example a counter trend move, you would make a long trade here, a long trade there, a long trade there, a long trade there. You see now my point. When you're trading retracement, you're actually trading a counter trend and vice versa. When you're trading counter trend, you're trading retracement. Because if you traded this in downtrend, you would have been selling here, selling here, selling here, selling here, not buying. You're buying retracement and you're selling, you're selling rallies in downtrend so remember once and for all whenever you're trading a retracement you're trading versus the trend so counter trend trading is either retracement or reversal trading what it means reversal it means that you are already in a trade that you made when retracement happened and you're still running the trade it goes in opposite it always goes in the opposite direction from a trend it's harder to trade, but it can be traded. Usually we trade it during profit taking and you will be trading on, on, on extremes. Definitely, guys. Tools for counter trend trading include divergence, candlesticks, MACD and trend line or CCI. That is how you do it. Before you actually delve deeper into counter trend trading, you need to understand always guys always try to understand what is the, the divergence is now i hope that we already had a lot of divergence sessions and i hope that you don't need to actually I, that i need to explain it all again but of course i can do it it's it's okay uh but let's say that I will give you now a few hints about the divergence if you're still, if you don't know uh, what the divergence is. Okay. So, first of all, you have so called hidden divergence and regular divergence. Hidden divergence is usually trend divergence. So, it means that trading during a hidden divergence usually goes with a trend. And then there is a regular divergence that is usually used for counter trend moves. So you need to distinguish between those two types. Now, on this chart here, guys, we have all types of divergence. When price makes a lower low and oscillator makes a higher low, it means we have a regular bullish divergence. So this is regular bullish divergence. When price makes a higher low and oscillator makes a lower low, we are talking about hidden bullish divergence. So this means, guys, that the price will continue in trend direction, and this means that the price will reverse. Okay? So this is important for you to understand. Now, a regular bearish divergence happens when price is making a higher high, but the oscillator is making a higher low. That is also very important for you to understand. So when price is making a higher high, okay, and the oscillator is making a lower high, price is going down, bearish divergence, okay, and also hidden bearish divergence. So hidden bearish divergence is used uh, in during the downtrend and when price actually is going down so it usually cues for a continuation so once and for all do not be confused because hidden divergence cues for a continuation while regular divergence cues for so-called retracement or a counter trend move okay so regular divergence price makes higher high indicator makes lower high 
hidden divergence price price makes a lower high while indicator makes a higher high okay so this is hidden we also use candlesticks guys candlesticks are very important because very often there are some candlestick patterns that can give us a first confirmation of a possible of a possible uh, retracement or counter trend move i usually watch for my my most important patterns are uh wicks those are hammers or shooting star call it whatever you like but this is the most important part this week and this week if this happens at support while we have a divergence this is a sign that we can take this trade whenever price makes breaks above the high when you see a shooting star and you see a regular bearish divergence or hidden whenever price breaks a low of this candle you can take a trade so this is very important the divergence cci make the trend line you can pick whatever oscillator you prefer i prefer MACD, and i also like cci trend line is an important tool and this is a must divergence but also guys the atr because i will i i never make any counter trend trades until i i see that the price hit the projection for the atr so when price hits the atr projection i'm waiting for divergence if the price is going up and it hits the atr i will be waiting for bearish divergence and then i will apply i will show you a live chart either a trend line or a candlestick reversal pattern but only then guys and I, of course i use it with camarillas but i'm not sure how many of you how many of you uh, are using actually camarillas but i always try to combine all of this with camarillas because weekly important levels on camarillas or let's say daily important levels will give you great trades that is why i like to combine to all of these tools to have a perfect confluence now let's see on, on the live chart okay guys so this is our elite currency MACD divergence indicator and you can get it for free this is our cci and uh, it doesn't show divergence but you can actually use the slide that i uh, showed you and you can actually try to uh, trade also cci if you want let's use this example guys let's say that the, the price i will actually use this four hour time frame so let's let's use current camarillas just for showcase purposes so this is monthly camarilla and let's say that tomorrow that yesterday sorry the atr or not yesterday but at the time when price hit the level let's say that the atr was actually somewhere here okay at the top so the price hit the top of the atr projection and it made this divergence this is the indicator that shows you the, the divergence automatically and you can see this is bearish divergence so you wait you see there is a marubozu candle that actually made a reversal so when price closes like this you just need to wait two more pips to break this low and then you enter a trade or you can place a trend line and wait for a trend line to break but usually a reversal pattern is faster than a trend line because at the time this trend line broke the price already made some nice movement then it made a pullback and continued in in that uh direction bearish direction let's use this example for example bullish divergence the indicator will give you a lot of signals but you need a, a, as a trader to assess all of those signals so let's see this example let's say that we were at important camarilla pivot point for example and the price hit that weekly support and made a divergence signal 
So you will be innovating for a reversal pattern here. This is reversal pattern. And the price to break two pips above this reversal pattern or place a trend line and wait for a trend line to break such as here. And you trade it. So there will be a lot of opportunities in trading. But guys, according to my teaching and what I teach you to do, you always need to wait for the ATR to be hit. And uh, I will place the ATR indicator right now. Let me just see it. There is a lot of, I have a lot of indicators here. Here. Okay, this is the ATR. So I always wait for a price to hit the ATR. You see here, the price hit the ATR before I actually take a divergence, trade or counter trend entry. Now, if you're not sure what divergence, is again freely take a snapshot of this chart and use it so this is bullish divergence regular hidden bullish divergence regular bearish divergence hidden bearish divergence and just compare the indicators and to your price and you will see the big and great point in what i what i'm talking about for example, here, guys, we had a CCI divergence. You see the CCI divergence. The price hit the ATR projection. This is the ATR projection here. It even made it higher, hitting daily H3. And then it dropped with a big shooting star candle. What you could do is make a trend line there, wait for the price to break this level here, and go short. Usually during big trend movements, I I wait for some I wait for the price to settle up a bit because guys, this week we made more than 200 pips. Usually when I make 200 or more pips, I stop trading for this week. So that is why I I was I had a little bit break today because of uh, big news that came from the Bank of England and from the ECB. So the only trade that I'm in currently is Australian dollar yen. People who follow us on Telegram know what we are talking about, but that is basically a long trade on Australian dollar yen. But I would also said maybe I could have traded this euro dollar too. But the, the main thing is I wasn't sure because of Draghi, because of this ECB thing. If this was for a normal day of trading, I would say, guys, yes, my trading idea now is to take a trade short on on a uh, euro dollar uh so you know you understand my point you need to assess every signal as a trader so this was a counter trend trade opportunity if it wasn't for drag speaking we could have made this trade be, be, especially guys because it goes below weekly h3 now if you remember my camarilla webinar you know that when price breaks below weekly h3 it is bearish and usually it goes straight to weekly L3. So when it hits weekly L3, I will be looking for the ATR that particular day and for divergence. If divergence happens, I see a reversal or trend line break, I will go long. So you always need to take all of these things into account when trading. Weekly H3, weekly L3 level, divergence, ATR pivot points, trend lines, and reversal patterns when you master it guys i'm sure that you will have a lot of success in picking up counter trend entries because it's not hard it just needs some time for you to practice these are the principles the core principles for me to take trend and counter trend tra trades Ilya is saying sometimes the stochastic a33 also showed divergence yes Ilya. I'm not using stochastics. I use only MACD in my teaching. And, uh, but I can say that you can use the CCI, you can use stochastic guys, and you can use whatever oscillator you like to use. Chris likes awesome oscillator. Ilya likes stochastic. I like MACD. I also teach you that you can spot the divergence on CCI. But, you know, it's up to you which kind of oscillator you will use to spot the divergence. Ilya is saying, is it possible to trade without the obvious divergence? 
I mean, maybe Leah, but I didn't do it. The only thing when I take trades is I need to see the divergence. But with MACD, it can be also a little bit different. That is the module that I'm working on now currently, Camarilla MACD module, uh, counter trend trading. And it's a little bit different when you have a standard uh, MACD that we uh, use, Chris and I, Elite Currency MACD. But if you don't have it, you can get this indicator for free, MACD, standard MACD without uh, the histograms and this CCI. For you guys, because you trade with Admiral Markets, it's free. For you, it's free. Just send me an email. And you can use these two, but I don't take any counter trend trades, Ilya, if I don't see divergence. Simply for me, it would be too risky. I like divergence trading. I, I like to see divergence in my trading. And that gives me a, I can say, a great chance and a, a good chance to trade actually those counter trend moves. And I have a more confidence when I see that uh, divergence trades are actually going in profit. I have really a lot more confidence. That is why I say I'm a big fan of divergence trading. And these are core principle, guys. This is the core of buy trading, making co uh, counter trend trading, making a confluence of ATR pivot points, uh, divergence, uh, camerillas, and uh, reversal patterns. Euro dollar, guys, uh, which euro dollar in win you're referring to? Yesterday, we had, I said yesterday, if the price gets to 1850, you can sell it. Yes, of course, it's counter trend. Watch euro dollar. This is trend, right? And I will zoom out. This is when trend changed. This was when trend changed. It went up. And during yesterday, I said, guys, if the price goes up, I wouldn't be taking a trade then. I would wait for 1850. And what happened? It hit 1850 and the price dropped. It depends which time frame you're looking at. For intraday perspective, this is counter trend trade. But for four hour perspective, actually, this could be a trend trade. But watch this. Also, guys, uh, always try to look at multiple time frames. Yes, yesterday I said 1850 is a sell trade, and it happened. Because from intraday perspective, this was a long trade. And from intraday perspective, this was counter trend trade. Remember, every time frame has a trend. Even one minute time frame has a trend. Uh, if you're confused about uh, whether the price is going up or down, whether this is a trend up or down, I just advise you to use important support resistance levels and ATR. ATR projections are very important because when price makes to ATR projection, as you can see here, it will likely reverse. And today the price hit the ATR. The ATR was overshot. That was signaled by this yellow pivot point that was below this ATR top and it went above. It means the ATR is overshot. And now we are having a counter trend move. You see, the ATR actually rejected it. It's very, very good indicator. And I think that you should use it. You can ask for this indicator. I will send you the email. It's tarantulafx at gmail.com. So, yes, no problem. Uh, just write it and I will actually send you the indicator. So, this was it, guys. I hope that you enjoyed our session today. Uh, also, guys, for all of you who followed uh, the analysis today, yeah, I will show you. I said that gold could go down and actually it's rejected, it's going down. So yeah, I did the analysis on gold on Admiral Markets website. Maybe you, you take the trade, you took a trade. Uh, I personally am in a long Australian dollar yen because of the uptrend and the dip that was spotted in, 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 in uptrend. So thank you guys. Uh, I hope that you enjoy this counter trend trading session. Uh, I think that uh, things will get more clear uh, and much clearer in the future because we give you tools to watch for counter trend and we want to 
and we want you to become profitable. That is our mission. Thank you. Thank you for all of your comments. And we'll see you soon. This webinar is being recorded. It will be uploaded. Cheers, guys. And as always, trade safe.